Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make giant lightsabers. I got some black duct tape and some spray paint to get started. I used some cinder blocks to hold these concrete forms that are made of cardboard in place so I could spray paint them silver. And actually one can of spray paint was more than enough to cover both of those tubes. Now this is corrugated plastic roofing stuff that you can get at any Home Depot or any store like that. I held it together with some clamps, drilled some holes to make sure that it wouldn't crack, then I drove in some sheet metal screws to hold them together. I did this every two or three feet all the way down just trying to make a cylinder. Now once the paint was dried on the cardboard tubes, I just kind of randomly made a design that looked like a lightsaber handle with some black duct tape. Originally I was going to paint these, but then I realized that the duct tape was just a much easier way to do this. Now obviously this is really simple to do, but I found that it was easier to get a straight line if you set the tube on a table and roll it as you add the tape. You could get really creative with the design here. You could use different colored duct tapes, lots of different designs. You have a lot of options here. Now to make the big red on and off button, I used a piece of scrap cardboard and traced the circle of the duct tape. I cut it out with a utility knife and then taped it onto the tube with some painter's tape. Just use some red spray paint to fill in that color. I took off the mask to let it dry and did the same thing to the other handle. For each one of the lightsabers, I cut two scraps of 2x4 down to 12 inches each. And then on the table saw, I ripped those down into an inch and a half pieces. I also cut a scrap of MDF for each one. I put a short bit on the inside of my driver so that it would fit inside my tube and then ran drywall screws through the plastic into the wood. I attached these to the high points of the corrugation on the plastic and made sure that they were equally spaced out. These wood pieces make the cylinder 12 inches across which makes it fit perfectly on the inside of our cardboard tubes. I got a couple of colored LED spotlights from the holiday section and took off the bracket just by unscrewing it. I screwed that bracket into the middle of the MDF scrap that I had used and then reattached the light. Now this scrap is also 12 inches across so it fits perfectly underneath the tube. I screwed it into the bottom of the 2x4s and then slid the entire thing inside the cardboard tubes. I used some drywall screws to drive through the cardboard into the wood on each piece all the way around and it actually is a lot more rigid than you would expect. Last thing is to plug them in. Are they totally ridiculous? Yes. Are they unnecessary? Yes. But when I was making them in the shop, I was just giggling to myself the entire time. I felt like a little kid. It was great. These are actually gonna end up as part of a larger Christmas display this year for us. I had a lot of fun putting them together and the kids just think they're great. And as people drive by the house, they think I'm nuts and they also think the lightsabers are awesome. So that's cool. I hope you like this one. And if you did, I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments below or at iliketomakestuff.com. Or if you are as excited for the new Star Wars movie as I am and you wanna tell me about it, go for it. I've got lots of other projects and Maker 101 videos that you might be interested in, so be sure to check those out. And as always, I'd love to see the stuff that you are working on. Please share that with me on any of the social networks. That's it for this one, guys. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time.